and welcome to another episode of Nox Plays. Today on the video, we are looking at some more No Man's Sky, running around the, the crazy universe of No Man's Sky and doing some story and uh, doing some exploration and having, just having a great time uh, as we did in the last video. If you guys watched that last video, we did a lot of things. Uh, we, you know, we, got, we progressed some story as we do in this video. We progressed some more story uh, with Artemis and Apollo and Null and, and Nada and Polo and all these things. So all these different little entities that we've we've met along the way uh but i really enjoyed uh running around today doing the things that the the the, the story was was making me do it was really cool i i really enjoyed uh where, where it's going so far uh of course with uh this video this will be my last no man's sky video for a while uh because starfield is of course launching tomorrow and we'll be creating content for starfield for quite some time because i've been waiting for that game for forever and i'm very excited to make content for it and play it uh, so yeah, I uh, just, you know, if you hung out with the last video, watch this one. We, we progress the story, a lot of fun and, uh, yeah, appreciate you stopping by. All right, let's get started. We're going to pick up where we left off on our last video, where we're going to need to, we got to locate cadmium to install the cadmium drive in our starship. So I think we can go further. We got to construct the mine mind arc, uh, for our story progress, which we're going to continue today. Uh, and, and today of course is the day before starfield launches i'm very excited so uh yeah i will we'll do some more space exploration and some no man's sky today and then our next video is going to be the 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 beginning however long it takes me to create my character in starfield and get started on that so i'm very excited to make content for for starfield i'm very very excited for that um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna take off here we gotta find cadmium uh so again i don't know where cadmium is i don't remember where i left off last last video if this is a cadmium uh thing <laughs> cadmium planet i don't even know so i know so let's look at our let's look at our log really quick here in the galaxy map oh yeah search for a red solar system that's right that's what we got to do i remember now got our trusty controller to fly because Whoever flies with the mouse and keyboard is freaking champion. I can't do it. Okay, here we go. In the space we go. Okay, I think I figured it out. Uh, what I was, I think what I have to do is actually create this this other thing first. That's what I have to do. I have to make the, I have to make the stuff. I have to craft. Wait, what yeah i need i need i need chromatic yeah that's all i gotta do i need free wiring looms and chromatic metal and i already have the cadmium drive i forgot about this so that's what we're doing we got to make the cadmium drive then we go to the red solar system to find cadmium that's what this that's what that's what the 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 the, the quest is so we're good so really what i got to do is just go get some uh some copper and I got to buy a few more or a couple more wiring looms, which there were a couple here at the space station. So we'll go buy those. Then we'll go mine some copper, make some chromatic metal. Then we'll have a cadmium drive, which then we can go to a red solar system. Let's buy two of these. Yeah, do, do that. Any chromatic metal by chance? Any chromatic metal, bro? Do I need what do I have to use? copper to make chromatic metal or is it just any kind of metal not quite sure what silver will give me unavailable on that so not silver doesn't work i'm assuming we just have to get some copper gold gold makes pyrite Okay, so we gotta go find some copper. Here we go. Let's go find a go find a planet with some copper on it. Get some copper. Get some of the uh, chromatic metal made. Then we'll be able to make our our cadmium drive. Excite! All right, we figured it out. I'm excited. You have copper. You do. A frost planet. Oh boy. Rue, nineteen, I think. That, that, that 
Yeah, it's been it's been a whole day since I've played this game and I forgot what I was doing, so. Nurturing companions. Your companion is ready to lay an egg. Well, I'm sorry, but my companions have to wait. My base is in, in this in this system, so that's kind of cool. I may have to check my base out in this video. Show you guys my base. It's probably nothing special. I don't even remember what my base looks like in this game. I have no idea. I know some people make some crazy builds in this game. A buddy of mine uh, played a crap ton of this, and he made some awesome builds. Like it was really impressive. He actually had somebody wanting to uh, like use his builds in some in some YouTube videos, which was pretty pretty awesome. Uh, let's just land and see if we can find some copper. Well, this planet was a liar. I don't see any copper nowhere. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong. I, scan doesn't do that. You got to use this. Okay. I remember. <laughs> I remember. All right. So we got to run all the way over here. There might be copper even closer. Let me double, let me double, let me double check here. Wait, hey, who is that? Is that someone's grave? Eh, we're only 300, 300, 300 units away from this one, so we'll be right. You know, I don't remember what my, uh, my little companion guy does my little my little robot. I don't know what he does for me. All right, attacking the wrong thing. There's a building down here. I might explore that building. I don't know. At least I just want to get this this cadmium drive made. That's my main focus here. All the copper, all of it. Hey, look out! You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get me in trouble. Oh, you're oh oh. You're right there, friend. You're good. You're good. All right, let's see copper exosuit. Where you at, copper? Where you be? There we go. We got plenty of copper to make plenty. I think we need how much? Rocket boots. Why well, I got those going on? I need to. I have plenty of fuel. Why is it saying? Oh, that's how far it is along. <laughs> oh man. How much do we need? Two hundred and fifty. I don't know if we're gonna have enough. <clears throat> That's the copper I was just at, right? Yep, that's the copper I was just was just at. Um, I don't see any more copper nearby. Hmm. How much do we got now? I thought it said 250 is how much we needed. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, here it is. Give us 160. I wish I could see how much I needed to make it. 
Since my ship's too far away, I can't. I can't tell. Anyway, let's get a little bit of a sodium here. Oh, we need some life support, man. We're about to die. It's a crazy cold planet. I don't like it. Wait, where'd my spaceship go? I'm so lost! Oh, there it is. There it is. O2 up there. I should probably go get that. Okay. Okay, so to make the cadmium drive. We need four more chromatic metal. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, we need some more copper over here. It's not too bad. 153 meters away. I need to get my life support systems back up. Hold up. Let's see. Life support. Let's get some oxygen. Yep. Good. Ooh. A place to learn a word. Horvac's word for it. All right, this will be the rest of our chromatic metal to make the cadmium drive. Cadmium. A little cadmium driving, you know? Ooh. Oh, hello there, cave of unknown. Oh, don't go down to the cave of unknown. I don't want to go down there. I just want the copper. Bruh. My weapon charge is deleted. Deleted? Depleted. I forget how to reach it. Recharge. Terrain manipulator. Ferrite dust. Boom. Done. Bro, I don't like how crazy you are with this thing. Spaceman? Alright, now we're good. Chromatic metal. Let's do it. No, not, not chromatic metal. We need to put in copper. Copper. Copper, copper. There it is. Alright, begin. Then we shall make our our cadmium drive. Much excite. What was that alert on my phone? I don't know. Okay, let's make the cadmium drive. Let's get our chromatic metal out of here. Starship, we'll put that next to the other hyperdrive. And I know that, I don't remember what. The reasoning was. But like you see now the, these are like, I think connected of some sorts. Like certain things, like an exosuit being in the same vicinity as the other, I think makes supercharged slots. What are those? Like I think, yeah, see how these light up when they're together. And if you know in the comments what, what the reasoning is for this, I don't, I remember when I first played the game back in the day, um, I remember there was something that said, I thought about putting like similar technologies next to each other, like the oxygen recycler and the life support. As you see, they both have outlines around them. Uh, and there, there's something to that. I don't remember what it is. Like how these now are yellow because they're next to each other. Like if I put this near this, it also connects with blue. I don't know what that means. 
So, oh, and now the jetpack actually connects to this. So they, 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 they do something together and I don't know what. This actually is a supercharged slot. So we'll uh, keep that there. Hazard protection doesn't matter right there. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. Simple translator package. An archived wiring package designed to allow easy storage of core technology. You need to begin the technology installation process. All right, so yeah, that goes with my translator. I don't know, I'm learning. Oh, and that actually, okay. So the hazard protection connected to these connected. Okay, they connect, they do stuff. Maybe it just allows you to see like where all your stuff is. I, I don't know. I have no clue. What are these? Aeronic bulwark packages. I don't know what any of this is. See, I don't know what, I don't know anything about this game anymore. All right, so the cadmium drive is installed. Uh, now we can go to a red solar system, apparently a red system. Our launch thrusters are at 0%. Awesome. Oh yeah, we're constructing the mind arc. So we have to go to a red solar system for that for some reason. I don't know why. I don't remember what Apollo was saying. I think he's the one that said something or was it null? One of the two guys said something about something and we got to do something. All right, I'm going to find a red solar system and we're going to warp. Current mission. Oh, it actually is. All right. Billium. All right, warping away. What? That, that, that looked cooler in my head. All right. Red system. Journey milestone accomplished. Nice. Rover. Warped 25 times. Cactus flesh, padmium, pyrite, and salt. That is not what we need. Land on a planet with available cadmium. All planets in red systems with large cadmium have large cadmium deposits. Scan to reveal resources. Well, this planet didn't have any cadmium, you lie. How about you? Cadmium, let's go! There's a sub-zero planet again. It's unmapped, so we're gonna discover another planet. Otos 56K6. Much warp. Such fast. All right, prepare to hold on to your butts and uh, be very cold. Maybe we'll find a building of some sort to land near to nearby. The question is, where does one, what does cadmium look like? I know we can just get on our little scanner thingy. Might just have to land in a random spot here. Oh, I like this. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to go down there. Makes me kind of nervous. Because if I can't get out, I'm really upset. Ooh, that's probably not cadmium, but we're gonna land by it anyway. There's something over here that looks really shiny. It's shiny, so we gotta go look at it. I 
Are you cadmium? No, you're magnetized ferrite. What a joke! Cadmium. 795 away. Alright, we gotta we're gonna we're gonna tag that bad boy. We're gonna make some launch fuel. Launch some launch juice. Let's make some launch juice. Baby. Dihydrogen. We don't have any. We gotta make metal plating as well. So we need pyrite and dihydrogen crystals. All right, let's do that. Ouch. All right, there's, there's, oh, here we go, over here. And here's ferrite dust. Ferrite dust, yes, indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I know. My thermal protection is actually... Pretty good. It is falling. I need to I need to recharge my, my heat one. Though. My heat one's at 0%. So if I find a heat... And I gotta remind myself to recharge the heat support thing. The, whatever it's called. There we go. All right, I think we should be good. Metal plating. We'll make. We can only make one. That's fine. That's all we need. Back to the ship. We'll go get this uh, this cadmium. It's pretty far away. We'll have to get in the ship for that one. <laughs> right. We must put in said thruster fuel. Where are you? There you are. Ooh, cadmium's cool looking. It's red and awesome. Get the sodium. All right, cadmium. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at that? Boop boop boop. I want a first-person mode for this. It's a big cadmium deposit. I don't know if they're all this big, but it looks pretty large. All the cadmium is mine. Hopefully no uh, sentinels come around trying to ruin my day. That's okay. We'll we'll wreck him. We'll shoot him. Shoot him dead. By golly, this is a lot of cadmium. We're gonna be rich. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We're getting all of it because lord knows we'll need like eight thousand of it probably to do what we got to do
We almost have it all. Every last flake, fleck, every last. Ooh, what are you? Mine. Oh, there's more. You're, oh, you're mine. All you is mine. Mine. Ooh, there's one more. Mine. You're not getting away from me, Cadmium. Okay, so now what we got to do with said Cadmium is I don't know. Um. Oh, okay. We've mined the Cadmium. We're good there. Harvest living pearls from an from armored deep water clams. Search for water planets in the galaxy map. Use the analysis visor when searching underwater for clams. Hmm. Well, that sounds like it's going to be really difficult. As we're going to go out into the space and find living pearls. Well, a water planet. Then go find living pearls. There's probably not one water planet in this system. That looks very rocky. Arid. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Arid is the opposite of being full of water. I guess we'll just warp this way. We'll double check to see if there's any water planet over here. I don't I doubt this is a water planet. This is a long jump. That's rocky. Can we scan this from here? We can. Frothing planets? I don't know what that means. Frothing. As in like coffee and froth? I don't know. I have to search for a system with water. So we got to do that. We got to do the galaxy map thing. Um, so how would you know that it has water? I don't, I don't really know how I would know if planets or systems have water. I don't know. Oh, it's actually right there. It does say mission signal detected, water planet detected. Okay, so this 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 one down here, where we're going, we can go to. All right, we need to make some we need to make some some fuel, some hyperdrive fuel. We have a warp cell thingy. We'll do that. There we go. Back to space, travel. Down here, and we shall warp. So cool, man. This game's so cool. So neat. So fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? I don't want hostile ships. Oh, don't you do this to me? Don't you du don't you duck me? You're gonna die. Woo what are you? Are you bad or good? Should I go in here?
Oh my gosh. I haven't been in a space fl I haven't been in a space fight in a mini year. I don't know. This is kind of fun though, not gonna lie. Son of a pulse engine back online. Escape possible. No, we're not escaping. These boys are going down. Gonna mess with me, man. They don't mess with me in space. right into me dude do you have insurance you better have insurance oh come on bro no they're gonna they're gonna shoot him down dead no it's my cow are we good how many of these things we gotta kill good night Okay, okay. Why are you trying to shoot him? He's so maneuverable. He's so maneuverable. Is that it? We did it. Ha ha. Success. Yes, indeedy. Oh. Life form. Please dock for aid. Life form, who must be the captain of the freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Yeah, you know, dude, I would, but I got things to do. Okay, let's just go do it. Let's go on this freighter. We destroyed 70 starships. Wow. What are you going to give me, sir? Hopefully it's something good. Make my way to the bridge, talk to the captain. Gonna get out of here fast now. Come on. I got stuff to do. Where are my plans, Captain? Hello, Captain, sir. I require your strongest potions. What do you got? I don't understand you. Corbax gives Vuru. Lights flicker rapidly across the lifeform's visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. Uh, they gesture toward the control panel of the freighter as if to suggest I take command. I already have one. Can I have multiple freighters? Inspect freighter. The class C. No. No, I don't think I will. I just want some money. Got some standing with the Corvax. We got nanites. 235. Beautiful. That was worth. I think we have like an a, an a class freighter. I think. I got. I don't remember. I have to look. Uh 
that was fun. I'm gonna shoot up some, some spaceships. Are you an agua planet? You're an ice planet. You look like a very rocky planet. That's not good. What about you? What are you? Are you a moon? What are you? You look watery. But it says desolate. But it looks like it has agua on it. Let's go find out. It looks very. It looks. Like, it looks like there's water there. Our pulse drive is about empty. Yep, there it goes. Low Lang X. Oh yeah, there's oh yeah, there's water here, boy. Oceans are visible on planets from space. Yes, there's definitely an ocean here. I can see it right over here. Now the question is, am I gonna be able to go down in the water like I need to? I don't know. I've never really done any underwater stuff in this game. Actually none. I don't think I've ever been really underwater. There's some right there. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this. I should have had it. I wish I had a uh, an underwater vessel. Some of these sounds are freaking me out too. I don't like it. Oh, it's not that far away. I see him down there, though. Is that him? Yeah, I see you, boy. I'm going to guess I'm going to take this pearl, and there's going to be a lot of dangerous things try to kill me. Get out the old bolt caster, shall we? <laughs> Oh, that was easy. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. We just gotta craft some metal plating and we can then we can do uh make the soul engine. Much good. We're making progress. How much are these living pearls worth? Eh, only five grand. I thought they were going to be really expensive. You can do it. Ha. Uh -huh. All right, we need to do the mining beam, get some ferrite. I should be scanning this crap. I should be scanning this crap, and I'm not doing it. You get units for scanning things, and I, I just never do it. We need to make three metal plating, so we're going to need a decent amount of ferrite. Oh, that was something un un unidentified. My bad. A geode. Oh, unidentified. No, I... Uh... <laughs> Maybe we can find another one. No. Tuzburit. Tuzburite. 
Here it is. 154 degrees on this planet. Yeah, it's crazy. It's unidentified as well. Mine. Apparite. 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 Oh, chromatic metal out of these bad boys. Let's go. Shoot all the rocks. Mine, mine, mine. Well, there's another, there, another ident unidentified. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> all right, let's see. How much do we, can we make here? Metal plating. Build three. Do it. All right. Construct the soul engine. The soul engine forms the heart of the mind arc. Okay, so we got to make the soul engine. That's done. Now, the mind arc. We need more wiring looms. We need glass. Glass is easy. Wiring looms just cost money. So we just need to get some some of this silicate. Oh man, everything's always running out of stuff. Yeah, we just need silicate to make glass, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's silicate. Guess we'll find out really quick. Silly kit, where are you? I could be wrong. There it is. Yes, glass. Make 12. Let's do it. All that makes, let's go ahead and get back to the ship. And we'll go to a uh, the space station and hope they have multiple wiring looms. While we're doing that, we need to go ahead and grab ourselves some dihydrogen just to be safe. Good there. To the space station. Wiring looms are not cheap. I wonder if I can learn that. Can you learn how to make wiring looms? Because that would be ideal. It might be a, a recipe. I don't know. All right, space station. Just says buy at the trade terminal. So I don't know. Maybe you can't actually ever craft object of interest trade hello friend ship volatile something something musha big again communicator image sputters the signal weakening rapidly chemist entity autovac shift appears to be urgent need to repair may not last in the warp oh fine well that's cool we got we got we got some nanites some nanites i'll take them i had an extra microprocessor yeah, I like to help the little guy. All right, we're here. Space station. Watch out there. Watch out now. Oh, here we are. Another space station and actually we've been to this one before. Derelict freighters. I have not ever, I think I've been to one of those a long time ago. Back when those were first launched. Okay, wiring looms, wiring loom. Oh, I was like, don't you tell me there's no wiring looms here. 
188,000 units. Sheesh. All right, we're good. Uh, now we can uh, construct the mine arc, I think. Mine arc, mine. Oh, wait, the gla oh, glass. Now we construct the mind arc. A strange piece of technology, a gift from beyond the stars. It shimmers in a way that suggests it's not fully of this world. It is crafted. Boom. All right, that's done. So now what do we do with the mind arc? That is the question. Bring the mind arc to Artemis. Return to the hollow terminus to speak to Artemis. Okay. Let's do that. Let's just do everything the game wants to do. You know? Here we go. You know, I've been uh, looking up, I've seen some things about Starfield coming out. And there's some things about it that people are complaining about, like how you can't like apparently just walk around an entire planet willy nilly, like fully. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, in no man's sky you can, but would you? Would you really just try to uh, just completely, uh, why would you? Like, why would you need to walk around an entire planet? Like, it's kind of unrealistic to be, Honestly, I mean, it's, I say unrealistic, but really to walk around an entire planet would take you how, how long? I mean, it, it would be like, I don't even know. It would take, it would take you forever in this game. And it's just, I don't know. I don't even know why you'd want to. Would it be cool? Yes. Would it be awesome if it was, if it was the thing, but is it necessary? Absolutely not. Like, I'm not even concerned about that. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the area, the mass around that you're going to be able to explore when you land on a certain spot in a planet is going to be rather large. But then if you want to explore a different part, you just, you can legit lift off and go to another part of the planet. You don't have to, you can still explore the entire planet. You just can't freely walk around the entire planet. Granted, it is cool to be able to fly your ship around, around the, like you can't, like this, the game, you can like just go out into the atmosphere, you know, just kind of like fly around the entire planet, which is, that's kind of cool, but what you won't be able to do on Starfield, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. If that's the biggest complaint, I'm okay with it. All right, Hollow Terminus activated, multiple signal sources available. The tower host powerful trans, hey, I don't know about this, yeah, to an Artemis. I know these things. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Artemis. Use, it. Use the mind arc. I'm not comforting this guy. Use it. Oh, yeah. This is supposed to bring him back to life. I activated the mind arc. That's right. I remember now. Uh, I do not know what to expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see the hologram, the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal is still active. Hello, Null. Travelers are a dream, and an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it, you had it, Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly, but closer you get to the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself and hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass or the aerons or the progenitor pro progenitors progenitors progen whatever. It is the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It's a primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. I'm assuming they want me to probably do like a multiplayer mission. This is what that sounds like to me. Ugh. 
Oh, ho, 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 that was a good jump. All right, we gotta go to the anomaly, apparently. Summoned. We're here. The anomaly. We good? We good. I gotta bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of him has been stored in the mind arc. Okay. Nada, you riddle speaking fool. Friend, Hollow has observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from uh, the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete, not fading. What? Not as light flare, light, whatever. Burning with concern and distress. Distress. Reassure them. Sure. I tell Nada I'm well. My condition has not changed as I emerge from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell him about Artemis, about Null, about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You're so beautiful. But friend, this Artemis Echo is a pain, is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Why? Artemis will never have a body again. We'll never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It's something living. A refuge. There's a choice. You may upload Artemis to the machine to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis in suffering. Yeah, we want to we let Artemis be in a simulation so we can be... What about the simulation? I ask what the life would be inside of a simulation. Not a pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. It tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but they should learn... But if they should learn of their fate, if that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. This knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to the machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on, or help Artemis. Yeah. I want to say yes. I want him to be living on. Go to speak with Polo. They will help you calibrate the machines. Okay. Proud of your compassion. Yes. Thank you. Polo! Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter what your choice. I will prepare the machine. If not a, if not a friend's private, it is not a, oh my gosh, it is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's, I don't want to play with this guy. I don't know who you are. I'm busy, friend. Okay, here it is. The machine that can bring Artemis back to life. Now, I don't know if he's going to... Is he gonna just going to be in a machine like in the, the anomaly? Or is he going to be like a machine like... I am Artemis. I don't know. The machine is an ancient and powerful. A relic of, the, of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It's clearly tended... It's clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on the panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. A secondary simulation right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system. A prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, I will act as home for Artemis should I wish it. 
Oh man, now no, now no, no, no. Like I thought, I thought I'd be able to hang out with Artemis, but like, it's like it puts him into some simulation that's not real, and it was a tough decision. It's a video game, but you know, still a tough decision. I feel like I should let him die. Because he'll live on forever in this simulation. Forever, forever, never. Like he'll never die. Which is cool, I guess, if he wants to live forever. But we don't know what he wants. Ah, <sighs> decisions. Um, it's too much for me. Um... Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna up him. I'm gonna upload him, I think. Yeah. Doing it! Uploading him! I upload Artemis into the simulation. The spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Leave. Nada tells me it's done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to and from this simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. All right. All right, see, he's, he's fine. Look at him. He's good. He's fine. He's good. Awesome. Speak with Nada and Polo if you wish to return, to, if you wish. Return to space when ready to continue. All right, I think the Artemis quest is completed. I think that we might be done with this. Let's see what Nada has to say, though. Artemis will live on. Traveler took them from corruption and restored them into a life of exploration to see a solar system that none but Corvax have ever witnessed. You've done well, Traveler. Thank you. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of Artemis. Uh, the souls of your allies are safe with us. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, I feel good about the decision now. I think he'll be all right. You know, he was, he was lost. He had nothing. He didn't know where he was at. He didn't know who he was really. I mean, he kind of just like, didn't know what was going on. So we've saved him. He now has a life somewhat in a simulation. Okay. Return to space and change the active mission. And, oh, somebody was in my ship. All right. Answer the communicator. Let Apollo know of Artemis's fate. Are you receiving? I am. The hollow terminus is showing available again. Your signal was, thought you were gone. It's a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Explain. I try to recount the experience to Apollo best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, the vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You? You saw it? You met the Atlas, the Gek, the Corvax. They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Uh, it was just a machine. I tell Apollo of the things that Atlas said. How it spoke of the travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think... I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Sweet. Talk of money is absurd. <laughs> no, no. There is not more important things. Agree. Give me money. I need all the money in this game. I tell Apollo I agree. Perhaps Sentinels and the Atlas are linked. Perhaps this is the path we need to take. There are other factors now in play. I tell Apollo of Artemis's grave and the main in my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. Artemis is dead. I I don't. Well, he's not really dead. I mean, he is, but he isn't now. Now, who would? I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared. They believed, and I. That's what. What? Whatever. What's happened to them? Where have they been? Where have you buried them? I want to say goodbye if I can. All right. Tell them of my choice. 
I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis' soul lives only within the simulation, unable to go beyond. I ask if this was right. It's a long time before he speaks again. Will they be happy? I hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. Thanks. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy, man. I don't understand these qu the quests. I don't understand. The first traveler, use a monolith to search. Wait, use a monolith to locate a portal for Apollo. Monolith detected. Oh, on this crappy, cold, ice-bound planet. Of course it is. Why can't everything just be on a sweet, cool, fun planet? Let's go down here and see what this is about. We can actually meet Apollo in the in the flesh or in the metal, I guess. Whatever. Oh, it's in an, uh, an approximate location. Right here. Alright. Get out of the ship. Do a scan. Oh, it's really far away. Let me run all the way over here. Sheesh. Are you evil? Don't you hurt me. All right, we're still on the still on the right path here. Come on. Nope, I ain't touching that little thing. I know what that little plant does. Hey, he still hurt me. Man. 650 units is a pretty far run. There it is. I see it. Okay, let's learn some words and see if we can figure out how to meet Apollo. That'd be cool. Corvac's word for A. Corvac's word for all. And but. <laughs> but. 
All right. Pillars of something pot. Anomaly. 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 I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable, muted silver. And yet, something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Ley link. Ley line link detected. Tracing to source. Locate the portal. Well, I mean, I'd like to. I got a scan. Oh, it's back there. Portal 17 hours away. Holy cow. Let's better get our ship. These are all my ships. I forgot I even had more ships. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know. Whatever, it's fine. I don't even know what I have. I still don't know. I need to go to my freighter one of these days and see my ships. I know there's a couple of them I think that are broken. All right, we're gonna have to go into space for this and then slingshot around the atmosphere. Boom. That's much better, much better than 17 hours. Here we go. I hope, I hope, I hope Apollo's cool. I hope he's a cool guy. We'll find out. He might try to kill me this whole time. Ah, oh, it's one of these portals. One of these portals again. Last time we went into one of these, it took me into the most hellish, scariest planet I've ever seen, and I didn't like it. These weird floating things with tentacles. I didn't like it at all. What is this? Charge the par portal. What do I gotta do? I don't know. I'm gonna go with glyph, uh, glyph 10, cause it looks cool. Or glyph 16. 10. Oh. Oh, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta go through here and just do all these things. Okay. Probably, we're probably going to get to like the last one and not have enough stuff. Watch. This is interesting. I guess we had enough of everything. Yes! Let's go. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. Portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. Dinosaur bug. Try. Thing. Whatever. Hurricane. Bird. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we learned the glyph sequence for this planet. We're good. Uh, relay the portal glyphs to Apollo at a hollow terminus. Okay. Let's do that. I think I need more launch fuel. More launch juice. Yes, we need more launch juice. 
Must make more launch juice. I need metal plating. All right, well, I guess we're gonna get some of that really quick here. Mining beam. Uh-oh, we got a blizzard incoming. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up! We're gonna die! in your ship run fly oh there it comes look at it over there holy crap we just missed it Woo! We got out of there oh it's gonna be i think it's i think it's all over the entire planet but i don't know how far away is this let's just go out into the atmosphere <laughs> and we'll just kind of figure it out from there oh it's Right there. Oh, that's so cool looking. It's all like clouded up and stuff from the from the uh, the blizzard. I didn't realize it did that. That's cool. Neat. Oh, this isn't even where it's at. We're going to get out and we're going to scan and we're getting back in our ship because I, I, I ain't trying to walk around in this blizzard. Well, I guess we're going to have to. We're going to die a horrible death from this cold crap. So cold. Best time. Best time for a blizzard. Can't see anything. Oh my gosh. Look, my guy's drunk. Is this it? No, that's a sentinel. Let's save and chart. Man, there's no buildings. I was hoping there'd be a building here. No. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Oh, I think it's clearing up. Oh my gosh, where is this place? Oh, yes. Oh, I see it now. There it is. <laughs> through the through the frost. We're gonna have to update our life support systems here. Wait, it says we have cold. We don't have. Oh, we don't have cold protection. We, it's just our standard hazard protection. Wait, what did I just restore? Oh, I restored the wrong thing. Life support. I, well, actually, I need to restore my... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I restored the wrong thing, but we're good. We have both now. Navigation data. Oh, I just let... Oh, I, I just ran up on it that time. I don't have to hit E on it. Oh, that's nice. If you're running, it just goes up the ladder. I just learned that. Nice. All right, Apollo. Apollo terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Tower host power. Yeah, I don't know that. Thank you, Apollo. Hello, friend. 
Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded. My stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. I found them. I don't care about your farm. I don't care about his farm. As I look at Apollo, I think of all we saw within the portal of what happened to Artemis when they walked in that same path. I think that the face I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Here, fine. Take the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking him to take care and remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me they will, and promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from the so called null. They warn me to be careful as well. Okay. Speak to Null. What do you want, Null? Silly robot. Two lost souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did. Once upon a time, I was angry, confused in my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Uh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Sure. Fine. There's an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither an enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or wind might be called such names, but it's terrified in pain and we need to have responsibility oh and we have responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost sure let's help the atlas shall we what's up all right great we made some progress we got some story stuff done saved artemis today it's awesome and we're on our way to i guess apparently help atlas and meet apollo so that's good news that is great news <clears throat> so with that that's going to be the end of this video, of course. But yeah, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. We uh, we got a lot of stuff done here today on No Man's Sky. We got to explore. We got to do some story as usual. And uh, we got to save Artemis. He's now in a ever-living simulation uh, on the uh, the Anomaly, which which is pretty cool. I mean, he's not he's, he's dead, but he's, he's not dead in a way. So kind of neat. Uh, the, uh, the next time we play this game, I don't know when. Uh, Starfield's coming out tomorrow, so the next video I'll be posting will be Starfield, uh, which I'm so excited, so excited to play and make content for you guys on that game. I've been waiting for it for so long, as many people have. Uh, but yeah, I've enjoyed just uh, playing some, some No Man's Sky uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, you know, in the interim, waiting for Starfield to, to launch. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you did, please leave a like. Uh, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Make sure alerts are on so you can find when I do uh, you know, post a new video. I do post videos uh, typically two or three times a week, of course. And yeah, leave some comments below if you uh, if you're playing uh, No Man's Sky or playing Starfield, or if you uh, you know just want to want to chat it up. Either way, y'all have a great great day, and uh, yeah, appreciate you stopping by. Bye.